Hi guys, welcome to Vienna. Um, we are still here and if you remember from our last video, uh, then you know that we experienced some stutters during the approach to, to Vienna. And uh, we found out that a high GPU load on our video card was the cause. So we took this as a good reason to look into performance optimization. The GPU load uh, depends highly on your video graphics settings and um, there are a lot of brilliant developers out there uh, who have clever ideas how to optimize performance. So we looked into three of these tools and uh, during the flight we will share our experiences with you. So, um, we are now on uh, flight level 340 and um, let's come back to the uh, performance optimization topic. Especially on the ground or during uh, takeoff and landing phase, the frame rates drop uh, and uh, this is because uh, of the vicinity to the ground, so the altitude or the complexity of the scenery or weather or some uh, combinations of all these uh, uh, criteria. And uh, the best thing you can do about that is to um, change the video graphic settings. So of course this is not possible during flight and uh, if so it would be quite annoying. So this is the point where uh, tools come into place. The first tool we talk about is Dynamic LOD. LOD stands for Level of Detail and it's a tool you can freely download. Um, and this tool changes uh, the graphic settings, especially the level of detail. Uh, depending on certain criteria, uh, mainly the altitude. So you can add some profiles and, uh, uh, for example, define that on a specific altitude uh, the level of details uh, will have a specific setting. Another tool is Auto FPS. Auto FPS changes uh, also the level of detail and some other settings, but uh, in this case um, it, uh, it tries to keep a certain frame rate and this frame rate, um, it, if this frame rate drops, then it will change the uh, settings so that the frame rate increases again. I think both tools have their advantages and disadvantages. For example, LOD, dynamic LOD, uh, you can um, quite define when the changes will happen. So especially if you have uh, weak graphics cards um, and the changes will cause some micro stutter or something like that, you have total control on what you're doing and this is also uh, the greatest disadvantage so you need to know a lot about that and you need to uh, you need the will to define everything in detail um, and uh, this is where auto FPS uh, has an advantage because uh, it does the work for you. So you simply uh, set the uh, target frame rate and uh, auto FPS will all do the work for you. The disadvantage of auto FPS is that uh, auto FPS changes a lot in your settings and you have no control what it does in particular change. But um, for us auto FPS did uh, a very good job so we actually do not uh, notice uh, any changes uh, in the settings and uh, we feel that the, the frame rates are much more stable and uh, so we are quite happy with that tool. It's a free tool, you can easily download it, you will find the links uh, in the description uh, so you can uh, absolutely risk-free try it 
um, but uh, this is uh, for us it's a it's a big big step uh, towards uh, stable frames The next tool is probably very interesting for all of you who have an RTX NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, so uh, we all know that uh, the RTX 4090 from NVIDIA is at the moment one of the best options you can have if it comes to uh, best performance of the Microsoft Flight Simulator in a multi-monitor environment. Um, but not everybody has one. And uh, also we do not have one. We have uh, an RTX 3080, which is a pretty powerful graphics card, but it's, um, compared to uh, the RTX 4090, it's, uh, well, it's not the same. So there's a tool, actually a plug-in into, or a replacement of a library in the NVIDIA graphics card uh, that replaces the NVIDIA DLSS G-Frame generation with the uh, FSR3 frame generation. So don't ask me about details, I'm uh, not uh, too much into how pictures are rendered, but as far as I understood is that um, this is a functionality that is usually not possible with RTX cards other than uh, RTX 40, uh, 70, 80 and 90 graphics cards. Well, from my understanding this tool calculates an additional frame between two officially calculated frames, so it uh, literally doubles the frame rate. For us, uh, this works uh, pretty well with our settings, uh, especially in combination with the um, Auto FPS tool. Uh, the installation is quite simple and you can also freely download this. Uh, um, I would like to mention that you should use that at your own risk, uh, of course, because it intervenes with the uh, NVIDIA graphics driver and of course it's not sure how long this will work, but uh, for now it works pretty stable and it also survived a lot of updates uh, the graphics card uh, received for now. Um, but for us it works uh, pretty well. There is a disadvantage that um, the um, there's some flickering in uh, some dialogues, but uh, this is uh, of course, yeah, maybe a little bit annoying, but it's not, not, uh, not compared to the benefit you have uh, with higher frame rates for sure. So the basic question was, uh, do we need to invest in an RTX uh, 4090 video card or will we stick with uh, our old one? Um, for sure, we recommend new customers to uh, buy the latest technology, of course, uh, that's simply because of um, future-proof investment. But um, what about the existing installations uh, like we have here at Bottrop? So our conclusion is we will stick with our old graphics card uh, simply due to these two tools, um, auto FPS and frame generation. Um, the result is that uh, we can fluently fly, the FPS are fine for us and uh, um, the overall performance impression and uh, flight experience is good for us. So uh, from our perspective it was definitely worth uh, trying. Uh, it was worth the time invest and uh, yeah it saved uh, money so maybe it's also uh, an option for you you can try it out all these tools are free and um, you just will need uh, to understand that you are using this uh, at your own risk but um, yeah it was definitely a benefit and um, I can just recommend it to try it out our flight to Nice now and uh, we'll come back with another video. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to share your experience uh, with uh, these tools or maybe if you have other tools we should look into. Just let us know. We are always happy um, uh, if we get some, some hints and recommendations from the community. So thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, see you next time.